Om Tat Sat. This is Swami Nikhilananda and welcome to Spirituality in Vedanta Philosophy. My humble prostrations to the Universal Divine Energy, to my worshipful Guruji, Sri Swami Jyotir Menanji Maharaj of Yoga Research Foundation, Miami, Florida, USA, to all the sages and saints of the world and to you divine souls that are watching this video. In my videos, I explain deep and mystic insights about spirituality and Vedanta philosophy. If you like my videos, please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates on my latest videos. In today's video, we are going to discuss insight into the Gayatri Mantra. As many of you know, Gayatri Mantra is a very powerful and potent mantra from the Vedas and a part of our Sanatana Dharma. So I'll first chant the mantra, explain the meaning uh, in general, and then I will uh, explain the detail of that mantra as well and the benefits that you will get. So let's get started. The mantra is chanted as Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyoyonaha Prachodayat So this means Om, we adore the Brahman, the Brahm, the Supreme Self who, like the sun, illumines the three planes. May he enlighten our intellect. So that is the high level meaning of this mantra. It's, as you know, these mantras are mystic formulas and they were revealed to the sages and saints during their deep meditation. So um, these come from the Vedas and uh, there is immense mystic power in these mantras as they have been chanted for a very long time or for centuries by sages and saints uh, and uh, a lot of people as well. So um, these mantras, they guide aspirants towards spiritual evolution and eventually liberation. As you know, uh, reincarnation is a big belief in the uh, Sanatana Dharma philosophy. So this mantra helps us to evolve. It glorifies the divine self and can be repeated with your Isht mantra or any mantra. So if you are already chanting some mantras, you can chant this one as well. So let's get into the detail of what this mantra means. Om, we always start every mantra with the Om, which is the smallest mantra. And it is a mantra in itself as well. So Om by itself is also a mantra. But in this case, we are saying Om, we are invoking the universal energy. Then we say Bhur Bhuva Swaha. These are the three planes, the three planes of our consciousness, which is physical, astral and causal, the three worlds. So bhu means our senses. So this is our physical world because our senses, eyes, ears, nose, smell, taste, all these are related to our physical world. So therefore we say it's a bhu, um, the physical world. The second one is bhuva. In that case, what happens is we are using our astral senses, which means your feelings, your emotions, your sentiments, um, your willpower, all those things are coming in handy uh, at the bhu loka, bhuvar loka. And then finally, the swar, swaha loka is where you're using your causal body, which is your also intellect and ego. So um, in that con context, in your body's context, you are using all these three, all these three lokas, and you are moving from one plane to another. So when you're doing physical things, you're in the bhu loka. When you're emotionally thinking, or uh, uh, praying or thinking with your sentiments, emotions, you're in the bhuvar loka. And then when you're using your intellect and um, ego uh, in the causal plane, that's the swaha loka. So bhur bhuva swa. Tat savitur varenyam. Then that means, tat means that. Savitur is sun and varenyam means we revere. So we revere uh, Brahman who is like as effulgent like the sun. So the sun. Bhargo, bhargo devasya. So bhargo means the radiance, luminosity, effulgence of the sun. Devasya of that God. Dhyo yo naha prachodaya. Dhyo means intellect. 
Yo means our, prachodayat means may he illumine. So may God illumine our intellect just like the sun and that permeate in all three phases of our consciousness of bhu, bhuva, swa. So I hope this mantra has been decoded and you understand it much better because whenever we chant mantras and you add your feeling and you understand the mantra, it adds a whole new dimension to the potency and your overall spiritual progress as well because then it's not just a mechanical process. You actually understand it and when you're chanting the words, you get the subtle vibrations and the benefits also because it's going in. Although people who don't understand also benefit because the, the formula is there, but it's your level increases quite a bit if you understand it and um, you are sensitive to the progress, you will progress much faster. Um, that is the reason I take the time to explain all these mystic mantras, uh, especially in this Kali Yuga. Most people just do things mechanically or don't even have time. So I make sure that I try to share as much of my knowledge as I can, which is of course coming from uh, my Pujne Gurudev Swami Jyote Menanji. I've learned all these things under his direct guidance. Um, the benefits of this mantra are, it increases your intellect and um, willpower. That's one thing. So it's great for students. That's why this mantra at the in all gurukuls and at the younger age is considered the mantra of Saraswati Devi and Gayatri Devi for our knowledge. And uh, it destroys negative karmas uh, and it bestows enlightenment as well. So I hope this video uh, explained Gayatri Mantra deeply and now you can understand it better. This is Swami Nikhilananda. Om Tat Sat.